Levan Janashir. Um, we are going to talk today about mediation and arbitration because the European Business Association in Georgia now has a company, the European Business Association, MAC, and we are going to be offering services in mediation and arbitration to all our clients and also to other companies in Georgia. Now, this is a new initiative. We all know that there are some problems with the court system in Georgia, they're very busy. We all know that there's a requirement if businesses are to be efficient that they can deal with disputes quickly. Alternative dispute resolution is something that's missing in this country and we want to be the pioneer, we want to push this forward. Now you are a recognized expert both internationally and in this country in this field and I thought today we could talk a little bit about what does it mean? What is mediation? What is arbitration? What is alternative dispute resolution? Maybe you could help me because I'm not an expert. What does it all mean, Uh Thank you, David. So, first of all, alternative dispute resolution field is uh, very important to be developed uh, because of huge number of cases which are in our courts. Uh, so this is very good initiative what we are talking about now and especially if we are talking about mediation or what it is. Uh, it's an informal process, first of all, and uh, because of this, uh, this process, the procedure is going like that uh, professional negotiator, mediator, is trying to give some alternative choices or chances to both parties uh, just to settle the case. Because of this, uh, one of the most important parts of mediation is that nobody is making decision. Just only parties are making decision. Mediator just only tries somehow to give them the correct way and to give them some alternatives how, can, how they can settle this case. Because of this, uh, this process uh, is dependent on the parties, so they control it. They can control it uh, for 100%. Uh, it is voluntary procedure. Let me, let me just stop you, let me just stop you there, because I want to be really clear about this. Mediation is a process between two parties. There isn't a decision, but there is a professional mediator who helps this process along. Is that correct? So there is no actual decision. The idea is the parties come together to themselves find a solution. That's right. And decision is agreement between parties, which they are making by themselves. Mediator just only helps to do this, and that's all. So uh, because of this, what's the difference? In court, for example, judge is making decision. So he's listening, who is wrong, who's right, and after that you are receiving decision of the court. Maybe one of parties happy, but the second one is not. In mediation, all of parties should be happy. So mediator is just a professional negotiator who is trying somehow to settle case between parties. And what is also one of the most important part of this is that it's totally voluntary process. Every party can stand up and go away if he's not liking anything, and that's all. Right, so again, important points here. A professional negotiator helps the parties find a solution, and it's a voluntary process. There's no mandatory decision imposed from a judge. Both parties walk away happy, or they just walk away. That's important. I understand much better now. Can we move on, perhaps, Levan, a little bit now to arbitration? What's the link? Sure. Uh, so, arbitration is also uh, alternative dispute resolution method, uh, but but arbitration is much more uh, uh, cl uh, much more closer to the court. But there is a difference. So, in arbitration, arbitrator is making decision. But uh, in a, is the difference between the court is and the arbitration is that first of all, in the court you cannot choose judge. In arbitrator, in arbitration, you can choose who will be your arbitrator and who will make this decision for you. 
The second part that parties can agree about whole procedure, how, uh, how this case should be gone to arbitration and how arbitrator should make a decision. In court, it's totally impossible because we have civil procedure law, for example, and according to the civil procedure law, court is doing everything. So, <coughs> uh, in arbitration, first of all, what you are receiving, it's a fast decision. You can agree also even about timing, how long it should be. Uh, you can agree about arbitrator. You can agree about procedure. Uh, our decision of arbitration is not going upper, so you, you, you don't have here some court of appeals or Supreme Court and so on. So it's just only one stage where you are receiving this decision and decision is, uh, is final decision. So because of this, uh, arbitration is even much more cheaper than court. And uh, so because of this, we can tell that uh, arbitration has three very, very important points. Control of process by the parties, timing, and price. Right. As a businessman, of course, I would say that being able to control the time and being able to control the price is extremely important. I also note with interest that when you choose your arbitrator, when you choose your process, the final decision is final. So again, this makes things a lot clearer, a lot simpler, a lot more efficient than perhaps to go simply to court. And you would put this, I assume, these procedures and these processes into the contracts that you might be making with your, with your clients. How does that work? Uh, in contract, uh, parties just need to agree about arbitration. But uh, according to our legislation, it's uh, very important to be, arbitration should be agreed uh, by the name. So uh, we cannot write just that we will go to arbitration and that's all. We can write that, for example, we'll go to EBA arbitration or something like this. Uh, so arbitration should be identified in the, within the contract. If you want to identify even arbitrator, it is also possible. And also possible to write anything and agree about anything with what is connected within the procedure of arbitration. I understand. So it's within the party's control. What kind of things should people be looking for in a good mediation and arbitration organization? What is the key factor here? Uh, there are lots of things, but uh, we can say some few very important parts of this. First of all, it's timing. First of all, it's timing for everybody. Even sometimes for business, time is much more uh, important than cash. First, uh, the second point is a price. And uh, the third point, what is very, very important, is the satisfaction. That parties should be satisfied by the procedure. They should like this procedure, you know? Uh, so when we are going to court, we are too nervous. We don't know what kind of decision we are making. We cannot control the process for 100%. In mediation, we can control it. In arbitration, if we will do everything right, and we will, if we will write in our contract the procedure as it should be, we would be satisfied because it is our choice, it is the way which we choose just uh, somehow if we will have a problem to go to arbitration and uh, receive arbitration award. So because of this, uh, the satisfaction of the parties is like a formal which we are receiving in mediation and arbitration. And also what I would like to mention about this, it's a, uh, we have also combined version of this, it is possible, it's called as a med arb or arb med. So what it means, so mediation and plus arbitration or arbitration plus mediation. So for example, if we are agreeing about med arb, First of all, we are obliged to go for mediation, to mediate our case, and in a case if it is impossible to settle somehow, only after that we are going to arbitration. But everything this is written in our contract going forward. So uh, because of this, uh, so if uh, there are some statistics what we have uh, in several arbitrations who are working in Georgia now, and uh, arbitrations who are using MEDARP, uh, they have approximately from 73 to 76 percent settlements in their cases by the mediation. 
so it's a it's a huge number okay i think i'm much better informed i am delighted now that the european business association together with our partners can use our reputation as a completely independent honest business association to bring some kind of efficiency now to the dispute resolution in, in Georgia. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that our watchers will be better informed. And of course, if there are any questions, please contact us and we'll talk to the experts. Thank you. Dave. Thank you so much. That was Thank really you. good.